Seeing horses at the Jacobson Exhibition Center is a daily occurrence during fair time. But seeing horses ridden by pistol-wielding cowboys, well, that's a true spectacle. Well, if you're doing it right, your heart's beating. If you're in this competitively, your, your heart's racing, you're wanting to do really good. There's that kind of that mix between going as fast as you can, but yet hitting every balloon, because any miss is a five second penalty, and a five second penalty will take you out of the winning. Pride's on the line here, but there's money on the line too, you know, but if you're my brother, you're my, my buddy, I want to beat you. It's not just the guys. I mean, I've seen you know, a lot of a lot of top cowgirls that come in and they whoop the boys. You know, so um, it's always fun for me as an announcer when the cowgirls are doing well because you know I can get the women on my side. You know, really cheer, get them cheering for the the females, the cowgirls. You know. Bottom line is you have single action firearms. Basically, what that means is you must cock that hammer back each time to take a shot, and it's a balloon target. It's a specially loaded blank that basically shoots out about 15 feet and will reach out, if I, as I say, uh, that reaches out about 15 feet, and that's what bursts the balloon is those uh, embers. We're going to have some guys running these courses in probably 15 seconds in this size of arena. They have five rounds in each gun, so they have to holster one gun, draw the second gun, and shoot that other five. And again, that's all going on down and back in 15 seconds, and it's usually some type of random course. We drew courses this morning. There's 65 courses that we draw from, so the, these guys don't know what course we're running, and every course is a little bit different depending on the arena we're in, so it's, uh, it's a different ball game every time. The American Quarter Horse is probably 97, 98, 99 percent of the horses that are used in this sport. Just for a simple fact, the speed, the agility, the, the explosiveness coming around a corner, coming around a barrel. They actually have earplugs in the horse's ears and most of the time their ears as well. You're training that horse to understand, here's what I have to do when I go through a pattern. This is what's expected of me. You know, and you want a horse that's going to listen to your commands and, and also feel your commands as you're going through that pattern. But bottom line is if you get a horse and you have one that's a good horse, you're going to go be able to go through any pattern and be successful. It really kind of sells itself. You know, they're sitting here watching this and they say, I really want to try that. And so they hook up with us and uh, we get them out and uh, get them started and they're hooked. It doesn't take a lot to get them hooked. People see this sport and they fall in love with it. It's non-judged, it's a timeline and timeline only. And if you miss a balloon, it's a five second penalty, you drop a barrel, it's a five second penalty, drop a gun, it's a five second penalty. Unless, you know, you're, you're basically, it's you against the clock, and then if you mess up, it's on you, it's not on anybody else. <laughs>